I need to do a little break right quick. The break is Pastor Tony is my um, pastor. I want to give him honor. But there was something that Pastor Tony said that when he had one of his visitations in heaven. And he said that when you get to heaven, whatever your ministry is, you're going to have a group of people in that ministry waiting for you. And the group of people that will be waiting for my ministry will be many that will be in healing and other gifts. And so what the Lord showed me that based on those people being happy and excited of seeing you, you need to be that way for others that have the same gift that you do here on this earth. So I want to tap this brother up here. Hallelujah. Yes. Come here, Jay. Yes. All right. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Yes. Because sometimes because of how other people were in healing, for what I saw, I never went towards it. I used to say how goofy it looked. And one day I got a flyer, and the flyer had Tony Kemp's picture on it. And I looked at it, and I was getting ready to throw it in the garbage. And I heard the Lord say, I want you to go to this. You know what I said? Are you kidding me? <laughs> this, this is goofy. That's what I said to the Lord. He says, but I want you to go, and I want you to audit me when you do go. I'm going to teach you. I said, okay. You got a deal. That's a good one. I showed the same flyer to my wife, and I said, we're going to go to this meeting. She looked at it, she said, okay, and read it. And then she said, are you kidding me? <laughs> this is goofy. <laughs> we went to that meeting, and the first words out of Pastor Tony's mouth was this. You have the right to audit me. That got me ready. That got me ready. When I saw the first miracle that he did, and I did some auditing, and I saw a leg grow. The leg started growing, and I said to Jesus, I said, Lord, because I'm, I'm hooked now. I believe what I see. I said, Lord, when I start doing that, see, I'm taking it now. From what I see Tony doing. I've never done a miracle in my life that I knew of, alright? As far as purposely seeing it happen now. So I say, Lord, when I start doing that, let me do it without putting my hands on a people's leg because it looks like smoke screen and mirrors. I know you're doing it, Lord, but let me do it a little different. Can I just speak the word and do it? Mm -hmm. I don't want to lay hands on him. And I can hear the Lord laughing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because he knew that he had given me already the gift in hands. <laughs> But I started speaking the word. And I started seeing results from the sound. Mm -hmm. So we started teaching. So you're going to learn how to release a sound. Check this out. Because everything I'm saying, the Lord has given it to me to share with you. We're dealing with two different themes. One is God's anointing and the other is the glory. Mm -hmm. I like to say that the anointing is hand-to-hand -hand combat. All right? When you're dealing one-on-one, -on -one, that's hand-to-hand -hand combat. God wants you to get into the highways and byways and learn the strategies that he has for us because we're warriors. Now, while you're going behind you, you have an airstrike. That's God's glory. That's the bomb. That's the missiles. You have nothing to do with that. When you get in trouble, get ready. They're coming. And they're coming, and they're going to let the bombs out for you. Get out the way and just enjoy the ride. That's how the glory is rolling. It's not about you, but it is about your support. But you in there, hand-to-hand -hand combat. That's why we have to know the strategies. Knowing that God has given you His peace. Peace is an anointing that our ministry share. Peace is a gift, as I shared earlier, that peace governs the autoimmune system. It governs the kidneys, the liver. As a matter of fact, peace actually is in everything. There's a scripture, Lamentations 3.17 says, there's, when there's no peace, there's no money. So it is our assignment to receive the peace that Jesus has given us. He's given us two types. The one that he left you with is the one that governs your body. The one that he gave you is one for intelligence for you to use as a weapon. Peace is a weapon. Love is a weapon. The enemy has no idea what you're working with when you use the love, when you use the peace. When you use his supply. So we have to learn our weapons. 
and they are so smooth to use, I tell you. It is so much fun when you're using them. And what makes it fun is when you see the people receive their breakthrough. When you see the people receive their breakthrough. Here's an introduction that I use when I meet someone. As we go to Walmart and we'll see someone with a cane and they're walking. Hey, why you got that cane, man? Why you walking with that cane? That's how I jump on them, right? And so they're like, whoa, what do you mean why I'm walking with this cane? Yeah, I'm a Christian. Here we go. I'm opening the door now. Jesus is my Lord and Savior. And if you give me permission, I'm going to ask the Lord. Notice what I'm not going to say. Give you a healing. I didn't say that. People are running from that. They're a little tripped out on that, all right? That the Lord gives you a blessing. Are you okay with that? 98, 99% of the people are saying yes. I think it's 99 point something. The ones that don't are your religious folks. That's the ones that's going to run from you. But the response in that question to many people is this. This is what you say when they're looking at you and they're paused and they got this eyes wide open because they tripped out that you're coming. They're amazed that you said that. Well, what do you have to lose? And when it comes to a healing and they know that's what you're saying, show you how amazing Jesus is, he'll put the word in your mouth where you will say, I believe that he will do it now. That's a bold statement there. You are on the streets and you say that, I believe that he's going to do it now. Now what they're going to say to you? Because we're putting the pressure on Jesus. See, whenever the pressure comes, let me tell you what you do. Remember in the garden how they was pointing at each other? Adam was pointing at Eve and Eve was pointing at the devil? Yeah. All right. But what we're going to do is this. We're going to point too, but we're going to point at Jesus. <laughs> Every time something come, point at Jesus. Anytime something going on. So we give it to him. So if somebody is hurting and you're speaking, it's really not you. Always say Jesus. Give it to Jesus. <laughs> you got nothing to lose. Every single time. If it don't happen, hey, it's Jesus. <laughs> come on. That's who it is. I'm, I'm Jesus. I tell you, when you start practicing that, get ready to see 90% results. Come on. I'm speaking that to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Go to um, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 8 for me. That's how serious this is. This is an amazing journey. This is a end-time currency. This is a movement that God has for us. This is healing evangelism. People are waiting for us. They got issues, all kinds of issues out there. And God is giving us the strategy. Brother Tim was giving a lot of strategies earlier. Mm -hmm. There are people that have so much hurt that comes from their ancestors. If you have a word of knowledge of that, even if you don't have a word of knowledge, just expose the enemy and see what happens. Look, there are some people in your past that's got some issues. They may be your parents. What we're going to do is this. We're going to ask the Lord to forgive them on your behalf. You don't even need to forgive. Jesus died for that. Are you in agreement with me? What are they going to say? Come on. They got to go with us. We're going to give it to Jesus. And we're going to ask the Lord to forgive on your behalf. Let the truth be told. Who in here has the ability to forgive? Let's just give it to point, point, point. Come on, point to Jesus. That's what we're going to do. Point to him. I, I don't know if I have the ability to forgive, but once I gave it to him, guess what? I now have the ability to forgive. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Yeah. You got to see it. If Amen. you can see it, come on, you're on to something. Amen. Because now you got it off of you. Now that you have it off of you, when the enemy looks at you, who does he see? He sees the Father. Because that craziness ain't on you no more. At least with your parents brought to you. Mm -hmm. See that bounce check mentality? That's gone in Jesus' name. It might have been with my parents, but it ain't with me no more. Amen. Bad attitudes, bad understanding, clumsiness, all that is gone. And that's just little stuff We've that we moved it in Jesus' name. We've given it to him. And see, we're born in such a time as now where we have a better understanding of this. Because science is helping us to get an understanding. So we're getting amazing understanding. 2 Peter 1 and 8, right? Wherefore, the rather brothers and sisters, make your calling. As a matter of fact, be more aggressive, be more solicitous. Make your calling and election sure. You're called, 
Know that you are elected to be a king, the king in you. Let's have confidence in that area. And if you're flowing in that, the word of God says, now get this, one of the most powerful 